So hello everyone. In this video, I would like to make a quick point about what it means to choose the Shari way. A foreword. I probably would never have started this journey if I had not read about the Shaolin virtues. Yes, the virtues. Something that we have forgotten today, but instead I consider essential to a decent quality of life. Actually, behind the media image that most ignorant people like me in the field of martial arts refer to when they heard about Shaolin monks and their extraordinary abilities, there is a broad and extensive philosophical background that I will try to briefly summarize here. As I learned from the headmaster of the Shaolin Temple Europe, to walk this path, one must work mainly on two aspects. One is the spiritual development and the other is martial arts training. Both aspects work on our two essential parts, mind, and the body. Now, while it's easy for everyone to understand why it's important to take care of our bodies, to improve vitality and health, perhaps it's not so clear what we need to do with our minds. What is wrong with our mind? The key is that if we want to change something that is going the wrong direction, causing us suffering, or simply something we are unable to control, such as a bad habit we cannot give up. Our first step must be to work with the mind. Buddhist teachings that form the background of the Shaolin Temple, such as the Dhammapada, suggest that all experiences of our life are preceded by mind, having mind as their master, created by the mind itself. Therefore, there is no easy way out if we want to go in the right direction, doing the right thing, we must first concern ourselves with our thoughts, making them become like a good teacher for us. Is it right? <laughs> well, not exactly. Because now I have to give you the annoying news. Before we can become a good teacher for ourselves, we have to become good students. A good student, as in aim or air, all the necessary qualities to follow this path. On the contrary, there will be no method that can work efficiently toward change. I will give you a clear example. Even if you can go to school thanks to your parents who make it possible, and even if you have the best passionate teacher, if you don't have enough discipline to obey, to make the effort to go to school on time and the passion to listen, you will not learn anything. Thus, you can easily realize how, no matter what kind of external conditions surround you, what determines your success or failure primarily is yourself. Simple, right? Therefore, what are these essential virtues that you need to possess in order to walk the Shaolin way? They are essentially four. Discipline self-control, modesty, and benevolence. But I would like to show them in another way. Discipline. Self-control. Modesty. and benevolence right because body and mind lastly are one so you can find the link to my source with more information about it below in the next video, we will look at some examples of how it is possible to become more disciplined and examine the main bad habits <laughs> we are used to maintaining. I hope you find this content interesting. 
let me know in the comments below what do you think about it and if you feel a lack of virtue in your life. Thanks a lot for the attention. See you soon. Bye.